At Glen Lake Elementary in Hopkins, Minnesota, recess is a mixed blessing. On the one hand, there's so much to do, but on the other hand, not everyone can do it. It just didn't seem fair that some kids were just left out. And it's really sad to see other kids go through that. They didn't look happy, and recess is about having fun. Glen Lake has a lot of students with physical disabilities, but no wheelchair merry-go-round, swings, or any adaptive playground equipment whatsoever. Come on in. Which really bothered the kids in Betsy Julian's fifth grade class, to the point where one day they asked her, why can't we just buy the equipment ourselves? I said, do you know how much that costs? <laughs> yeah. Costs a lot of money. 300000 $300,000, by her estimation. But the kids were undeterred. They started collecting spare change, then held a bake sale, printed flyers, and went door to door. Then they began cold calling businesses, and even got restaurants to donate a portion of their profits. This went on for months, until last week, when they hit their goal. We were all very happy on the inside and on the outside. And the smile on my face, I could say, was an ear-to-ear -ear smile. I was just really happy that we made it. Reese Riley says they work so hard. It was overwhelming to finally know a more inclusive playground would be coming. You're a good kid. Thanks. And as for the kids who will benefit, they seem to appreciate the effort almost more than the result. First time I set foot on this playground, I'm probably going to start crying. From seeing the effort that all the school has made. Mrs. Julian couldn't agree more. My future as an adult is bright knowing that this generation of students, of change makers, see something that needs fixing and they go for it head first. The whole thing. Head first and dive deep. What's our next step? After raising the 300000 Mrs. Julian's class set a new goal, to the ceiling and beyond. They now hope to buy adaptive playground equipment for other schools in the district, turning loneliness and isolation into child's play. Steve Hartman, On the Road, in Hopkins, Minnesota. Yeah.